What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda. I got a new mount for my Osmo Pocket. And one of the reasons that I picked this up is that I love the Osmo Pocket camera. It is just great stabilized gimbal camera. And I thought, well, I'm going to shoot some videos about my cars and to do those videos in the car. And why not get as stable a footage as possible? And I thought, well, how can I mount my Osmo Pocket in there to work kind of like I would normally use a, with a GoPro? And so I picked this up. It's my Star Track, not Trek, Star Track. And it should be. A suction cup mount for your Osmo Pocket. So this is what we get in an anti-static bag here and should be pretty simple. Look at that. It's kind of like a GoPro mount. We have a pretty big suction cup there, a couple of inches, and then a switch here to draw that sucker in. So you can see, sucks right up there. We have some thumb screws here. You can see the little teeth there. So if I loosen this up, I can move this around and get a nice angle on it, tighten it down. It shouldn't move. And then up here, we've got, it looks oh, almost just like a GoPro attachment all the way up to the top here. And again, I can adjust that. Um, this is a very GoPro-ish mount, but this piece is unique to the Osmo Pocket. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna unscrew this completely. I'm gonna see how I can get my Osmo in there. So pull this out. Now this little clip will go around it and I'm kind of guessing, I'd actually probably want it, even though, there we go. I think you're gonna to wanna to take out any accessory you have in there and put it around there. That way you can see the screen, still get to the controls. Um, I do wanna show you this plastic. There's no interior lining or felt or anything like that. So you're gonna have a nice tight seal on it, but I almost wish there was a little lining and you don't wanna cover that up. I think that's the microphone right there. So, uh, but it's nice cause I can get it right above the microphone and still have pretty much all of my screen accessible. And then you just go ahead and mount this back together. And hopefully as you squeeze this back in, it should kind of tighten down on the Osmo Pocket. So I'll screw that back in there, tighten it in. All right, and does this move now? No, that's in there pretty steady, steady Eddie. So you can attach this, uh, use it like you would in a GoPro. Now I will only use it inside the car, not outside the car, but that way hopefully the shots that I get should be free of as much of the shake wobble uh, as humanly possible. We will try it out though. And if you wanna pick up this mount, I will put a link to it in the description below, Peter Von Panda. Out.